you need a vacuum cleaner that's five hundred dollars to pick up after yourself. No, ma'am. Welcome back to your girl's channel. It's your good sis, Curly Chris. And in today's video, we are doing an Amazon must have video. This video is long awaited, well, long overdue, I should say, because y'all, I have so many things that I want to share with y'all. From home decor, to kitchen, to closet, to laundry, to bathroom, the whole nine, sis, okay? So get those cards out that pocketbook. Yeah, I say pocketbook. If you born in 2000 or later, you ain't gonna know what that means. It mean your wallet, okay? Y'all already know one thing I'ma do is make y'all spend some money because I didn't spend the money. So if I'm spending money, that mean you gotta spend money, sis, okay? That's just how it works. <laughs> and also in today's video, I am giving you guys some budget-friendly alternatives as well that still do the job just as good, if not better, than some high-end items. So if you are new to your girl's channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. We do beauty, lifestyle, vlogs, fashion, the whole nine on this channel. So if you like that, you will love this. So since we are in the living room feeling all cozy and everything, I want to start out with my living room Amazon must-haves for this video. So if you don't know, I recently moved into my new apartment and y'all, I went crazy on Amazon, okay? I got so many things so first things first is going to be the candlesticks right here that are in my background so i have the candlestick holders with the gold rim or trim whatever you want to call it design the sims of it is black and the rim is gold and i just feel like that took the candlesticks up a notch in my opinion and also went really really well with my decor now in my candle holder i have the candlesticks and if you guys watch my vlog content, then you came with me to CB2 and Crate and Barrel when I was just trying to find some nice candlesticks and candle holders that did not break the bank literally. And I just couldn't find it, so I went to Amazon. And I found these candlesticks, which came in a pack of 30, and it was so affordable. I'll leave the price down below so you guys can click. I believe it was like 11 bucks for 30 candlesticks, and these are the ones that do not and one thing that I want to note about these candlesticks is if you do not want them to spill, make sure that they are not leaning and also make sure that you trim the wick before you burn them and also whenever you go to reburn, just trim that wick because it helps in the burning process for them to not drip or spill. But overall, when I tell you that entire setup, the candlesticks and the candles was such a steal, I said, oh yes, uh-huh. I am so happy I made this purchase. Most definitely budget friendly, okay? And something that you need. So the next item that I want to get into is my coffee table and my side table. Y'all, I feel like my coffee table and my side table are honestly my best purchases. Like when I tell you I have no regrets about this, I would have never imagined that I could have got something this beautiful off of Amazon. Like, no shade to Amazon, but whenever I think of Amazon, I just think of like, I don't think of furniture, you know what I'm saying? And I was actually able to find this furniture on Amazon for an amazing price. I actually saw some pieces that looked just like mine, but for like 700 bucks. And I was able to get the coffee table and the end table for under $300. And when I tell you it was so easy to put together, I did it myself and they are so beautiful. I love the pleated design of the um, coffee table and the side table. And I love that it's wooden because I just wanted a different aesthetic in this apartment. And the wooden detail, I just feel like really does mesh perfectly with my entire living room from the couch to the pillows to the rug. And you can also stack them if you don't want to use it as an end table. It can also be a two layered table where you put the end table right next to the coffee table and you have like that two layered coffee table type of look. Now my next item now I want to get into is the details on my coffee table. So first up I have this Louis Vuitton book that I got from Amazon. I just felt like I wanted to add a little bit of luxury to the space but not overdo it. And I just feel like coffee table books are the perfect way of adding luxury to your apartment and also without breaking the bank. 
So it's a Louis Vuitton book and I paid about 70 bucks for it and I just feel like it is so worth it. It is filled with information, which is amazing. It's not just for display, it's an actual book. And the thing is massive. Do you hear me? It is a lovely size. I actually went and picked it up so you guys can see just how large it is. Like this book, y'all, is huge, okay? But it's so, so nice. You get the Louis Vuitton on the, um, I think it's called like the brim of the book maybe. And then the back is just plain black. And then the front, you have this little cute design right here. Um, but I just like to lay it like this on my table and then stack on top. The next thing I wanna get into are the beads on my coffee table that's also from Amazon and it actually came in a set with a wooden chain link from Amazon as well. So I initially just wanted the wooden chain link and I saw one at CB2 and baby that wooden chain link was like $300. I said no, there's absolutely no way I'm paying that. Are you kidding me? $300? Like for a, for a chain link? Baby that's given when I'm 40 and I'm rich in my, in some Malibu mansion then I'm gonna buy that. But for right now? <laughs> This Amazon dupe is gonna dupe me justice, okay? So I got the wooden chain link and it also came with the beads, the large beads that are on my coffee table. And it also came with a smaller bead, at, well, two other smaller beads for about 20 something dollars. That's up my alley, okay? In my opinion, baby, this is a deal. Like this is a steal, okay? And it looks so good. Like you don't know it's light unless you go and touch it. But just from looking at it with the eye, it looks expensive in my opinion. And one thing about decor is not every single piece has to be expensive. You have to mix the highs and the lows and then it just makes the entire area look expensive, you know? And also, most of the time, it's all about your style. It ain't even about how much the item is. Now, the next thing I wanna get into, y'all, if you have a lowly or a not as bright living space, or a dim living space naturally, and you want to get more light in the room, you need to buy this next item, okay? So I actually ended up buying this room light off of Amazon, and it's made for lighting up dark rooms. So this lamp has three different light functions, so you can do bright, medium, or low. And when I tell y'all, when I turn it on and I point it up towards my ceiling, it gives me so much light in my living room and literally just opens up the space. Like, light is everything, y'all. It literally can make or break an environment, okay? And when I tell y'all, I'm so happy that I ended up getting that light. I also got it in the brass gold color because it does match my aesthetic in my home, but they have them in many colors, including silver and matte black. It's a great investment to get so much more light in this room without having to add like electrical wiring for more lighting or something like that. So speaking of light, the last little tip or aesthetic piece that I want to include for the living room area is my overhead painting lights, y'all. When I tell you, I feel like I'm looking at it right now. I personally made these two art pieces that are on my wall and I said I want to put some overhead lighting above them but of course I don't want to wire it because I can't. So I got wireless ones that charge and I just screwed the holes in the walls and then hooked it on and all you do is charge it whenever it's dead and put it right back on up there. And when I tell you they just take the ambiance to the next level? It's literally going to level up the vibe, the space, the ambiance, everything. It makes it look so luxury. Put a light above a picture, baby, and you will swear you are in an art museum. It gives art museum, okay? It gives display, it gives look at me. It gives, I'm not regular. I'm not one of them, okay? <laughs> and of course, I ended up getting mine in the gold color because that's just my aesthetic and I love gold, okay? So for the next section of this video, we are going to move into kitchen, Amazon must-haves. So the first item I wanna get into are these juicing bottles that are super, super convenient and I love the design of them. Ignore my fingerprints. <laughs> but they are not just any kind of juicing bottles, honey. Okay, let me tell you about this. This comes in a pack of, I believe it was like a pack of 16. If I'm not mistaken, I'll have it linked down below, but they come with these black lids, okay? So they have a black lid for whenever you want to store the juice inside the fridge, but whenever you're ready to drink the juice, you can put on this white lid. 
And it's not just any kind of white lid. The white lid has a hole at the top and it comes with straws so that you can drink your juice on the go in the house. You know, when I always wanted to bring my juice with me in a car, but I was so scared that it would either waste or like if I had it just open in the car, I would hit a speed bump or something and juice goes everywhere. Well girl, you don't have to worry about that anymore because these bottles cover all of that. And I love the fact that you can just put the straw in the top of the, of the, of the lid. Girl, you know that's innovative, okay? And it comes with the black one, the black lid, and the white lid, as well as the bottle, as well as the cup and the straw. You need these if you are someone who juice, or if you like to drink coffee on the go, water on the go, anything on the go, this is your girl. Now the next Amazon item that I wanna talk about is all about organization, pantry organization, which I am literally obsessed with okay and that is going to be these canisters with the labels i feel like right now we are in the era of having canisters that have labels on them and i am here for it we're in the era of labeling everything okay and i am here for that as well so this is a five piece canister set with the wooden lid baby get into that wooden lid talk about gorgeous gorgeous and it also comes with the stickers that um, you can decide what you want to put on which container and it's also five a five piece with different sizes and when i tell you it's so convenient and also just so cute to use something like this versus having a rice bag open in your pantry have you ever had a bag of rice open in your pantry and you go to close it and all the rice that's sticking on the seal is now wasted in your pantry or the bag of rice busts all of a sudden out of nowhere and now you got little pieces of grain, rice everywhere. Yeah, those days are over with. And the exact same thing with flour. If you know flour, <laughs> if you visited flour, you know she's a mess. She cuts up, okay? Have you tried to close, re reseal a bag of flour after you've opened it? You're getting flour everywhere. So go ahead and get you some lovely, aesthetically pleasing canisters with the wooden lid. It's a vibe. <laughs> now the next item that I want to mention are these wine glasses that I got from Amazon. And y'all, they are literally gorgeous, okay? I love the stem of these and also how the cup is like flat. I just love that detail. It is so beautiful. I think it's very unique. I've seen these floating all around TikTok and everything with good reason, okay? It's a gorgeous white wine glass. I feel like it just makes you feel more luxurious. Like, do you see my wine glass? You can't talk to me any kind of way. And once again, they are very affordable. I love finding deals that make it all worth it. Like this is one that makes it worth it. That's an amazing price. Now the next item that I wanna talk about is more organization and that is with my spice jar containers. Baby, when I tell y'all that is the best investment I've ever looked into was getting my spice jar containers, let me grab two of them. Like, I know that I'm gonna do overlays for this video, but I just get so excited. I wanna have them in my hand while I talk, okay? So let me tell you about these. So these are the spice jar organized that I got from Amazon. And once again, these are, I believe it's a 24 piece, and it comes with so many labels. So literally almost any spice that you have, they will have a label for it. And you can also check beforehand and make sure that all the labels that you want are included. Now, the reason why I love these is because, do you see the caps? The caps are wooden, and that is exactly my vibe for my kitchen. I have touches of wooden everywhere, and I just feel like wooden really does look beautiful in the kitchen and living room, etc. So not only does it have the labels for the front of the jars, but it also has the labels on the top. So whether you are putting these in a drawer or even if you're laying them this way, you can still see what they are from the top as well as the front. It's a really, really cute project to do for yourself as well. And I just have mine all laid out in my cabinet and it makes me even wanna cook. Like whenever I go to cook and I see my cute organized seasonings in my drawer, I'm like, yeah, yeah. That's the vibe we're on. Now, speaking of that drawer, the other thing that came from Amazon is my 
cutlery organizer. Now let me tell you guys something about this one in particular. So this organizer in particular, I had to order it. It was actually my second one because the first one I ordered was just way too large for my drawer. So this one is one that will fit in a smaller drawer and also that you can put other things next to it. So I'll link that down below in case you are someone as well who for one does not have a lot of cutlery and for two does not have like a huge drawer for a super long organizer. And the last item that I want to talk about when it comes to kitchen organization is for the fridge. So I actually got these bottle organizers. It came in a whole pack of soda can organizers, egg organizer, as well as some smaller bins so you can put fruit cups, fruit, whatever you want to put in them. Me personally, I put my protein smoothies in them. I put my fruit in it because I know fridges can get out of hand, okay? So this helps me a lot to just make sure everything has its perspective space and stuff is not just everywhere. All right, so now let's move on to the bathroom and the laundry area. So the first thing I wanna talk about is my steamer. If you guys know me, y'all know I recently got a steamer, which I love. So this is the steamer that I got. It is by Conair, I believe. Is it by Conair? Where is the brand name on here, girl? Yes, Conair. And I really do like this one, y'all. It does not get my items wet whatsoever. You get turbo steam, so there's three different modes. And I use mine on turbo, and when I tell you it gets the wrinkles out so quickly, it does not leak or anything, and it's also purple, which I like. <laughs> and it's super easy to use. You just press the on-off switch right here, hit your mode, and you're good to go. Um, I also love this, right, like the actual, this part of the steamer. It allows you to get that direct steam you know and yeah i just really do like this one so i'll link it down below so next i want to get to some of my laundry room deets because i got so many questions about this in my laundry room i tried to redo it and make it look all cute and everything tried to hang up shelves floating shelves girl it was a full hot mess okay oh no did not work but some positives did come out of the experience one of which is my dryer sheet organizer. So I still have that up on my wall and it's so convenient to just go in there and pull out my dryer sheets and then put them in the dryer. I mean, let's be real. It requires the same amount of effort as keeping the regular dryer sheet container, but hey, aesthetics. Do you wanna have a dryer sheet container or do you wanna have an acrylic container to pull out your dryer sheets? It's up to you, sis. And along with that, I recently got a question about my laundry jars. And my laundry jars are from Amazon as well, y'all. So I have one for detergent, one for fabric softener, and one for bleach. The one that's for bleach is actually from Target. Um, I'll try to link it down below, but honestly, I mean, I love it, but I don't really know if everyone wants to put their bleach in a little dispenser. I'm pretty sure you just want to put it in like a bottle or keep it in the bottle it comes in. So I'll just link the canisters, the jars down below. And it also did come with the labels as well. For me personally, I don't want to see the laundry bottles, the softener bottles, the bleach bottle. I think acrylic just makes, it levels everything up and makes it look so cute and also more organized. So along with the acrylic, I also got acrylic shells which were supposed to be floating ones. Only one of them is currently floating and the other one is on my, is sitting in my cubby with my laundry bottles. But hey, it's serving a purpose. So I'll also link my floating shelves that I ordered down below. And if you wanna put those up, hire somebody to do it or get somebody who know what they doing, sis, or bro, okay? Don't try to do it if you don't know what you're doing. Don't be like me. So next, when it comes to organization and acrylic, I want to mention my mouthwash dispenser and my cups. So I ordered this off Amazon because once again, I just felt like it'll be super cute to have a mouthwash dispenser. Like, right? You know what I'm saying? So I got this acrylic one off of Amazon and, well, not acrylic, I'm sorry, a glass one off Amazon. It comes with two little bitty cups, which is so cute. Pour it in there every morning, every night. Do your little mouth wash, spit it out, and put your little glass right back on the counter. It also helps the environment. It's recyclable. <laughs> That's the way I convinced myself to buy things. So the next item I wanna talk about is my toothpaste dispenser. This item right here is literally just because of luxury. Like, I just wanted an amplified way of getting my toothpaste in the morning. That's it. That's it. No 
I have no other need for this item than I just want it to be extra. And I love it. <laughs> so you literally just stick it onto your wall and you put your toothpaste at the top of it and you are able to push your toothbrush in there and dispenses your toothpaste. It's not battery operated or nothing, so it will not die and it works like a gym. The only thing I would say is make sure that your toothpaste is pushed all the way down to the bottom of the tube and you are good to go. I'm all about finding little joys in my life, period. So the next thing I wanna talk about is my vacuum. This is more of just like a home item in general. I ordered this vacuum, y'all, off of Amazon during Black Friday, and it's actually still available at a really, really good price. I initially wanted a Dyson, I really, really did, but $500 for a vacuum cleaner, I don't need it that bad. I said, I don't have no kids. What about me says you need a vacuum cleaner that's $500 to pick up after yourself? No ma'am, not happening, okay? So I went on there and I found one that is had amazing reviews, was 120 bucks, and works so good. It's from the brand called NC. I'll also leave a picture of it on the screen and also me using it. And when I tell you guys, it works perfectly. It's battery operated, it has different levels, and it also has a handheld level where you can just simply detach it from the rest of the vacuum and use it to get into little bitty crevices, take it outside with you to your car. So it's portable, which I freaking love. Like a portable vacuum that also serves as a household floor vacuum, Sign me up for 120 bucks. Sign me up. The amazing thing about it as well is it doesn't only work on carpet, it also works on hardwood floors. And the main reason why I wanted it was to vacuum up my hair in the bathroom. Mm hmm. It was getting out of hand. Whenever I wear my wig, it gets out of hand, okay? So that was most definitely an amazing purchase. Now this next item, honestly, I'm gonna just say it, it's one of my personal preference, okay? And that is my folding hanging rack that I use to hang dry my clothes that I don't want to go in the dryer. Me personally, I'm a tall girl and I don't like to put a lot of my clothes in the dryer because it'll shrink, so instead I have to hang it up. The thing with my apartment is I'm learning ways to maximize my space in this apartment. So I found this hanging rack on Amazon that hangs to the door and it's literally the most convenient rack you will ever find. You just hang it onto the back of your door and you're able to lay out all of your clothes and let it air dry. And once you're finished, take it off the back of the door, collapse it, and put it back on the shelf. Like, when I tell y'all the best thing I could have purchased for my for the back of my door for all my clothes, yes. So the next thing I wanna talk about is my jewelry stand, which is in my closet. So I got this jewelry stand off of Amazon, and the reason why I wanted this one in particular is because I was looking for one that I was able to hang bracelets on as well and also certain earrings. I didn't just want to get one where I can hang necklaces and just like put my bracelets down or put my earrings down. I felt like it was an additional perk to be able to hang up your bracelets as well as hang up your earrings. So I'm able to clip my earrings onto, this, onto the jewelry stand and hang my bracelets and hang my necklaces. And I also have a little area at the bottom to put my studs. So it's literally the perfect jewelry stand if you are someone who wants more versatility um, than just a typical jewelry stand. So I highly recommend it. I'll leave it linked down below. I know at this point I probably have like 30 things in your cart, <laughs> but I promise you we are almost done, sis, okay? Okay, I actually forgot to mention these items earlier, but that's my Lazy Susan. So I have two Lazy Susans that I use the most, in, well, three actually that I use the most in my house. I have one that's a four compartment for all my snacks in my pantry. I have another one that is a four compartment for all of my coffees and teas. And I have another one that is a two-tier Lazy Susan for all of my body care, my deodorant, my lotions, all that kind of stuff. So I'll leave all those links down below for you guys as well. It just helps so much with organization and also being able to see what you have available versus like having everything in boxes or just stacked above one another. It just helps me overall with like accessing all of my items. And of course, it's cute. <laughs> now let's move on to the bedroom. Okay, so I have a few items in my bedroom that I did get from Amazon that I want to bring attention to. So one of which is my nightstand that comes with a charging station. 
You can't tell me that ain't legit. A nightstand that has a charging station? It's giving top tier. It's giving innovation. It's giving high tech, baby, okay? No more having to try to search for the plug behind the bed. Uh-uh, no more of that. The charging station is on your nightstand. And also, I put that together as well. Mm hmm With my little drill. Also, it has two drawers on it, and it also has a little open area at the bottom, so you can decorate it however you wish. But the perk that really just sold me on it was the charging station. It has two places to put your charger, and I also believe it has a USB port. I'm pretty sure it does. And it also was not very expensive at all. So the next thing that I want to mention is my duvet. So I got a lot of questions about my bedding in my room. Most of my bedding comes from Target. The only thing that came from Amazon is my duvet covers. And when I tell y'all, I love them. I'm not gonna lie, they are very, very warm, baby. During the summertime, it gets hot. I, I literally have to switch them out. But during the winter time, it is perfect. I have two queen size feather down duvets in my bedroom and I put them both in my duvet cover to get that extra fluffy hotel look. And that's my little tip, y'all. That's my trick of how I get my bedding to look so comfy and just like plush and plump. It's because I have two duvets inside of one duvet cover. This brand also does offer different temperature du duvets. So if you want one that's more light, versus warm um, or in the middle, you can order it based on your liking. And it's a goose feathers down duvet. I don't know what that means, but it sounds fancy and expensive. All right, so the second to last section is car stuff. So I wanted to mention some car stuff in this video. It's only three items, so let's go ahead and hop into it. So the first item is my car trash cans. Yes, I said my car trash cans. Don't talk about me, okay? This is essential, y'all. Have you ever been in your car? You go through a McDonald's drive-through or a Starbucks and you didn't get a bag and now you have to like find some way to throw the straw paper and it typically goes into the passenger seat or in your console. No more of that. Get you a little trash can that fits in your cup holder. This one also comes with a diffuser, so it also helps to like keep the smell, if any, down, which I thought was an amazing idea. But they're super convenient, they fit inside your cup holder, a simple push to open up the lid, and you throw your trash in there. I know, genius idea, right? Genius, and an amazing way of making sure trash does not go everywhere in your car. I know if you have kids, it's probably a whole different story, but I don't, so I'm telling you mine. <laughs> the next item I wanna talk about is for my influencer girls, and that is a car mount for your camera. I get so many questions about the car mount that I use, and I actually ordered this off of Amazon, and when I tell y'all it is the best investment I could have gotten for my car, it's like a bendable base, so you're able to swivel it wherever, however you like, or adjust it for height, um, or even just to make sure that the camera is not hitting the windshield. If you're an influencer or a blogger, you know what I'm talking about. And it also is able to hold my camera, which is typically on the heavier side, so it does hold heavier cameras. I highly recommend this mount. Very, very sturdy. The suction is amazing on it as well. And the last item from my car are my leather wipes. Duh, y'all, ever since I got my new vehicle, I purchased a, a huge box of leather wipes and I don't regret it. I keep these wipes in my dashboard. I have lighter seats in this vehicle, which means I have to take extra good care of them. Whenever I see a little dark scuff or something, I grab that wipe, wipe it on down, and it literally comes off so easily and they're very moist as well, so. Highly recommend if you do want to make sure your car stays clean in the inside and you also always want to have them on deck. All right, we are towards the end. The last item that I want to talk about is this little light that I recently purchased for my phone. If you are an influencer or a blogger, this is for you. Now, I'm pretty sure if you're on social media, you've seen this light before that is for, it attaches to the top of your phone and you're able to get that nice, those nice content photos with good quality and light. But recently I came across this one on TikTok and do you see how much smaller it is compared to this? And y'all, the power on this bad boy is crazy. So you push this little button right here to turn it on. Boom, it's on. And then you have different brightness. So you can make it brighter by just tapping this side or you can dim it by tapping this side. 
see it's getting really, really dim. Then I'm gonna turn the brightness back up over here. And y'all, it gets super bright. Y'all see how bright that is? Like, it gets bright, okay? So this is perfect. And, oh, and you also have different temperature settings on this as well, so you can get cool or warm. And y'all, it is so bright, it is so tiny. So this is able to just attach to your phone and you're able to get those good selfie photos at nighttime or even if you're in the restaurant and you wanna get like a good food pic but not bring too much too much attention to yourself, get this light. Like do y'all see, baby, she is bright, that is crazy. So small, but so powerful. And I will say one thing about it is it is more expensive. So this one's about 70 bucks, whereas this one's like seven. So I mean, that is the only kind to it, but it is an investment piece if you are someone who's interested and I do feel like it's worth it for even, even for traveling when you're having smaller bags and you can't fit this whole big light in there. So that is the end of my Amazon must haves video for you guys today. And of course there is a giveaway for today's video. So the giveaway will be a $100 Amazon gift card. Whoever wins the giveaway for this video will be getting that gift card directly to their email so you can use it on Amazon in whichever way you wish. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, leave a comment down below and like this video and I'll be contacting you in the comments only from my page y'all only from my page don't fall for the scams okay let me know in the comments what you guys thought about the entire video did i mention something that you're going to be buying have you already made a purchase let your good sis know in the comments down below and thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video and i'm gonna see y'all in my next video slash vloggy vlog